learning things and trying to show them how to what I'm trying to learn. Okay. So what what are I, I know these are rifles. Yes, these are flint long rifles. This is a copy of one made in near Reading, Pennsylvania by a guy named John Bodowitz. We actually have pictures in a book at home so that I know what the carving patterns are and the engraving patterns. And since I'm retired, I didn't count how many hours it took, but I can tell you it took six months worth of afternoons to build. I believe. Now, I buy the barrel, buy the lock, the castings for the trigger guard and the butt plate, but there's lots of file work and polishing. So you to be just done did the engravings, basically? No, I did the carving and the engraving. Well, and okay. I assembled the whole thing. They, they, they okay, how big a deal is it assembling these? Well, it's a, a bunch of chipping work and sanding and filing and rasping. and Because uh, when I bought both of these stocks, they were made for a small barrel. And I had to waller them out to take the bigger barrel that's in them. Okay. And then everything else from there. I mean, there was lots of extra wood on the forearm. And we want nice, limb, skinny forearms because they're graceful. And so there's a lot of chips come off of that forend. And then since this is bird's eye maple... It's a challenge because each of those little bird's eyes is a tight little curl of grain. And when you go to carve something, it messes the chisel up. That doesn't dull it. It just, the grain, it wants to chip out. So where this one is more of a straight grain, uh, just plain curly maple, and it'll carve a lot easier. Okay. But these are shooting guns. These are not just wall hangers and play, uh, carry around the battlefield, just look pretty. Because this one gets shot in contest every month over to Stone's Trace over in Ligonier, Indiana. Okay, now what's that you have uh, here? Yes, what's he? Well, that's the patch box blank. See, this is the patch box right here. Okay. This is the patch box blank that will go in the back side of this one. Okay. And I buy kits that they're just rectangular and they have the hinge form. So you see I've got an outline scribed onto here. I will cut that out. Oh, okay. And then inlet that into the wood on the back side of this stock. So how do you cut that? Well, some of I cut with a metal cutting bandsaw. Some of I cut with files, Dremel tool, grinder. So you're going to just cut the board with it and then get a no, new board? No, I'll probably it. take it off there. But I needed this together so that I could scribe the outline. Oh, okay. And then later, when I go to engrave it, I'll screw it back down to a board and do the engraving. And I use hammer and chisel for that. Okay. You, know, you can see the before and after very easily here. Yeah, yeah. Because it's this would start out the same kit. Now, they would store, you see, patch box. Well, you could store a bullet puller. You could store a cleaning jag. You could store balls and patches. Uh, anything you want to store in there to keep with the gun. Yeah. And normally, they're supposed to spring open. But I don't have my spring in the right place. So I've got to go back and re-engineer that. But for now, just, being able, just pulling it open with my fingers is good enough. Yeah, it's... Of course, the, the action, the flintlock action works by the same method you use for flint and steel for making a fire. See the sparks you can throw and catch in a, in a tinder? Well, the flintlock has the hammer that has the flint in it. There's the hardened steel that's the pan cover. Yeah. Yeah. I have a brown bess at home, and they, uh, I was told that I need a hardened frizzin, or be, that's why it doesn't work. Ah, that well, could be. That could be. That seems very plausible to me. Could be. Uh, is your flint good and strong, or good and sharp? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I've tried multiple flints. Okay. And I know that the frizzin will bend. Ah. So it's definitely it, you know not it's, hard. Yeah, you, need, you know it's soft. Then. Yeah, there's, and chances are it's not an original. It's a copy. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they may have to use case hardening uh, powder with that. Yeah. <coughs> Who knows? Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to me. And